Have you ever wondered how to take care of your BC1500? This is one of the most important things that you should do for your machine here. We have people that, you know, they neglect this and don't ever do anything for it. But yeah, service, if you are interested on learning, you can learn how to do your own service and you don't have to come and pay me. So stay tuned, learn how to do it yourself and save some money. I think they're being, they're being, they're saving money, but this thing is not, this is a year old. Uh, 2021, 20, yes, uh, year and plus months old, so this thing is not good. This thing is even worse. All this dust in here is dust that is escaping from that filter and it's going in here. We're gonna have to replace those. So we gotta get a uh, oil pan and we're gonna start a quick drain on this. Ah, you try one, try two, try tip. Ah, yeah, we like try tip. And if you have to use this lung of a cheater. Ah. Changes either. Mm. Yeah. But we got it. That's what counts, I think. There is the block, the gushy, the good stuff coming out. Drain that, fill it with new, and we can go home. Okay. What do you think? Think it'll work? MacGyver? Everything's a tool, Gucci, but I don't know if this is gonna work today. I should just take myself over to the O'Reilly Auto Parts and buy a wrench, but who's got time for that? I only got one hour to do this change. Oh! You get it. You see it turning? It's like magic! All right, so that's great. We got it apart, take the filter off, but what is the new filter? I need to put the drain on the bottom and then bring the pan out this way so that I can catch the fluids from here. There's gonna be a lot of diesel fuel coming out. We gotta put the plug back on, make sure it's tight, but not so tight as it was this morning. Oh, as it was earlier. When I took it off, it was just too tight. Now we're good. We're gonna put this over to catch. Hopefully catch some of that diesel. I just went over to Harbor Freight, purchased a cheap socket, made a slide, cut it, and then I cut off my seatbelt from my Tacoma, and then this is how I'm gonna take this filter off now. Just gotta figure out which way it rolls. I can go this way, and roll it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. And then, where you put your ratchet? Ooh, that's how you crack a filter. I'm gonna grab it up on top, because it doesn't respond. There you go. Oh, that's great. Okay, one more. Oh, wait a minute. We got a plug down here. There you go, now it's unplugged. I'm gonna put it up here so we don't forget it. Oh, she doesn't like it. She's being stubborn. What else is... It's gonna go get the trash can for itself right now. And it turns, it's like a miracle. Uh, what? One more, Richie, one more! One more, Richie. One more. That's not good. This one's empty. 
and typically when there is an empty filter like this there is an issue with the fuel system so that could be a problem <laughs> coming got a fuel coming out of it right now though yeah but it's only like a quart full it didn't have it needs to be tucked uh -huh. to the top dude. okay so let's start putting filters on yeah let's start putting filters on I'm gonna start with engine filter nice engine filter gonna make sure we uh, mark these things down so that our customers now know when's the last time they did service on this thing otherwise you don't know when to do it again dry it out a little bit I'm gonna mark another one Whew. that smells like a rotten fart Hidden underneath this panel is your uh, hydraulic filter, which needs to go along with service. Then you want to check this belt. I don't have my flashlight. This belt is all right. Tension enough. So 51203 is looks to be the original filter there. So you want to put in a new one. Uno más, Tomas. See, as you can see, this filter range works and all sorts of filters from very little one to very gigantic ones. I use it for everything. Anyway, I didn't pay much for it because I filled it. Very good, it's done. I'm gonna need some glasses for this one. Who said I was old? 3343 point seven. 3343 point seven. And today's date is three nine twenty twenty two. All right. Most important is that you make sure that your field is clean and it has no water and what we're doing here is we are going to fill up our filters because if you don't you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get this chipper back started so if you just take your time and fill up the filters you're not gonna have an issue getting this thing uh, running again so and we'll prove it to you in a minute you'll see that it'll start right up there is that one It's always bad because the diesel will take your markings off. So, gotta be careful not to touch them anymore. One more. Whatever. Thank you. Make a good use of the two hands, huh? Now you're gonna smell like this when we get home too, and it's gonna be two of us that gonna get yelled at by my wife. Please, please, please be enough, be enough, be enough. Oh, man. That just makes my evening longer here at the shop. I gotta go get some more diesel fuel. I don't know if you remember the other day we were trying to get diesel from, uh, we were at a yard somewhere, one of the custom, our customers. Who the? Is that? Hey, you're doing a little, little uh, uh, YouTube or yeah? Yeah. You, you watch YouTube? Oh yeah. You gotta be one of my subscribers then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Hydraulic yeah, specialist, man. We just That's talked about uh, yeah. 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 about a month ago. Good, good, yeah, let me know. Send me the link. Yeah, okay. Ooh. She's full. She's full. She's full. Gotta get her in the hole. There it is. Moving on. The next one is uh, 
hydraulic filter. I'm gonna get prepared with a couple of rugs, maybe two, huh? That'll be good. I don't know if those are rugs, but yeah. This are rugs. Rags? Rags. 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 Are right, we gonna be able to catch this fluid? Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> we not. Not a drop was spilled. So there's all the nasties right there. Plug this in. I'm gonna go over there and bring my handy dandy THS manufacturer oil cart. And we're gonna fill this thing within probably a minute. Because we're back. Get your today. I'm gonna go there and open this. Once again, put the hose in the hole. There we go. Turn this off, turn this on. And we're gonna put 12 quarts in here. And it's not taking it. Shooting that oil so fast that it comes right off the tube. And I don't see another entrance for oil. Oh, no. Oh, haha, I found another hole. Bigger hole. Look at the size of that puppy, huh? Gonna see if it takes the oil a little bit faster there. Woo! That's not good. Yeah, but it's going in really fast. We are at seven. Nine. I'm gonna stop it at that for a minute and check it. Vermeer, you gotta come up with a better. Solution for this. See, we got the stripe line from here to here, and then we have this other dot to this dot. So, is this what the rain? This is full right there. So, it's full right now. So, it says. Okay. Well, let's make sure we put a filter and then give it a start and see what it says after we run it for a couple seconds. I'll be putting for days in there. I guess you can say I'm a fool for you. All right, so we're gonna give it a start and just for good measure, check the oil again. Pull another job in. It's getting dark out here or I'm getting too old. Okay, so it's just like right there. It must come up. I think I can throw another quart and see what it does. I think up to now we have 10. So usually I've seen these things take about 12. You know what? This particular piece of equipment, it works a lot better when you turn the air on. Like right here. Let's try it again. Oh, would you look at that? 12 quarts. Let's go with that. Ooh. She's making funny noises. <laughs> I like that. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, no. Scary. Here we go. Get a load of my little handy cart. Again, we gotta push this thing until we sell about 20 of them. We only sold 12 of this unit, so who's next? If I see this thing come back and I and I see trash in there, then I'm gonna know that they didn't ever replace the filter. And I can go a step for, uh, further here. It was 33, 43, 27. THS check. That means that we only check at that 
time or at that, at that um, many hours. And we're gonna go ahead and put, put, I'm gonna put a date here. That way, when it comes back and they say, oh, we replaced the filter, because it's marked. No, I have a question that you don't f***ing boy. Oh, he quit. Hold on, I'm sorry. I take it back, Ramon. <laughs> this is like a freaking Ford seatbelt. What the hell? What the hell? How are you going to check the oil on this? Let me try it. Let me try it. Move it! Let me try by myself! Uh, uh, I'm gonna lift it and maybe burp it and maybe twist it. Oh! It's like a freaking combo combination. I don't know, but uh, let's go home. Let's go home. The service on the BC1500 is completed and hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you guys did, do me a favor and subscribe.